In today's review, we're going to be talking about and taking a look at uh, a couple of batteries here. What we got is uh, one of those robot batteries here, Anito brand brand name. This is uh, I have a D75. It's uh, an older one, older model, but uh, has been quite rock solid, reliable. Aside from here lately, and I don't have any error codes. I don't have any good information. I'm taking a total guess at this one, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna check out a battery. See if that. Uh, yeah, I'll get into it in, in, in just a minute here. But uh, what I want to know is, like this this uh, OEM battery here is you know the better part of 50 bucks to your door. This eh, about 35 bucks to the door. Um, is this as good as this to run one of these? I don't know, but uh, that's what we're going to get into and uh, check it out. But uh, before we get ahead of ourselves here, today's video is brought to you by Tub Stopper. Because when you need to hold the water, well, except no substitute, Tub Stopper. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anywho. All right, I haven't, I, <laughs> uh, sometimes I, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Anywho, uh, I have not opened the box yet. Uh, I don't know if, uh, well, I mean, that, just about everything's made in China, so, you know, that's that's an automatic give in there. But uh, I, I don't know if, if one area of China makes better stuff than another. I don't know if one brand name is better than another, but uh, I think we're going to, uh, find out here real quick if I can open the damn box. Ah, oh, come on now. Why so difficult? Oh, if it wasn't for bad luck. There we go. Here we are. Um, by the numbers, this is the correct battery, so I don't know. You get, uh, more, is that the brand name? Is it is it more Pilot? More, I guess more more Pilot. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I I I swear to God, they just they sit around these Chinese companies. They just sit around trying to dream up the most ridiculous names possible, and they say, "Yeah, that's what our company is going to be. The Americans are going to love it." And uh, yeah, not so much. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, I guess it's more Pilot. But I don't know who's flying what, but uh, <laughs> I, I can tell you by first impression here, they feel identical. Uh, Weight-wise, I can't say that one's any heavier than the other. Of course, we could uh, break out the old scale and put that to the test. And the connectors here. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. There we are. Um, they appear to be identical. So, um, yes, indeed. Uh, I, some of you may have, maybe may, maybe don't know how, but uh, we'll just run over real quick how you replace one of these. It's pretty much uh, no muss, no fuss. You flip the, uh, the machine over here, take out these two screws here, and uh, pull that cover off, and there you go. Battery's uh, kind of tucks in there and Bob's your uncle. Um, you know what? I actually, I think... If I remember correctly, when I pulled this out of the box brand new, I had to install the battery. So most of you probably already know how to do it. Uh, I just thought I'd uh, run you over it real quick now, won't. So uh, when this was new, when the machine, when everything was new, which was give or take about three years ago now, uh, this would do everything that I use this machine for. It would do it twice. Um, which is give or take about 500 square feet. So it would do, it would do just about a thousand square foot uh, in total on one uh, fully charged battery. And here lately, it's been running down, running down. Uh, a couple of times, it uh, it didn't even finish the the little 450, 500 square foot area that I normally clean with. It couldn't even finish. It stopped in the middle of the the clean cycle and came back and and well it beeped and then. I happen to see on the display screen, it said uh, battery low going back to charge. And I thought, well, 
you know, you, you only did half the job. What do you need to charge for already? It didn't say that there was a problem with the battery. It didn't say anything aside from, you know, hey, I'm going back to charge up. So it did that. And uh, here lately, what's been happening, the, when I turn it on, um, the uh, home light here, the, the house button, whatever that button, home button, house button, whatever, the clean, the go clean button, uh, at least on this one, that's what it does. Uh, you push that and then on the display screen up here, it'll, it'll start flashing that uh, you gotta turn the switch on. Turn the, uh, there's a, a switch. Uh, let me turn you around. How's about, uh, yeah, something like that. That switch, it keeps telling me that I gotta turn it on. Well, it is on, it's been on, and it, it, I never turn it off because this thing, you know, does what it needs to do. It goes back and charges, and then, you know, every time I need to run it manually, I just push the button there, and boom, she lights up and, and cleans my house for me. But uh, yeah, not uh, not so much anymore. So those are the only two clues that I have. I don't even know if a battery's gonna fix it, but uh, hey, we're gonna find out. Anywho, um, yeah, I'm gonna put A's and B's together here, get that charged up, and then we'll just, uh, we'll run it through the paces and see what it does. Come on, buddy. Come on, little guy. This is uh, day two. Pause. He's, uh... Oh, I probably, uh, probably should have got you a little closer before I did that. Anywho, um, resume docking, because he's all finished. Take a look at the, uh, the battery icon. That's really what I'm looking for. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Took me a minute, but uh, yeah. Hopefully you're seeing that in the uh, upper left-hand corner. I mean, it took a quarter of the battery, I guess. Barely a quarter. That's, uh, I mean, hell, that's, that's good. <laughs> that's better than the original battery ever did. So uh, I'm gonna let this guy resume and uh, Tomorrow's another test. Yes, resume. Come on, buddy. Come on, little guy. It says, finished. I wanna see the uh, battery level. This is the third run, so pause. Um, how do you get to the battery indicator? I guess I've paused. Oh, there it is. There we go. So this is the third run, and again, it uh, it did literally half my house, and I'm still looking at three-quarter battery life remaining. So that's a win-win. That's uh, three identical results in a row. So I'm calling it a day right there. Alrighty, uh, we're back at this now. For you, it has only been mere seconds. For me, it has been days worth of testing and uh, yeah, trials and no errors, just trials. Just making sure everything is uh, what it said on the tin. And I am very happy to report, uh, yeah, it appears to be, certainly does. Uh, replaced a 3600 milliamp hour battery with a uh, supposed 4,000 milliamp hour battery. I did not 100% test the capacity, but I can tell you what the uh, old one did when it was new versus the new one did when it was new. <laughs> it's English, trust me. Uh, this would uh, would do my, uh, the, the, the section that I described, it would do that twice and that would uh, wipe this one out. This one, uh, yeah, I, I, the the clips, I guess you saw those. Uh, it's doing, well, it's doing everything that I ask it to do, the same as it was with this one, except uh, now, after one cleaning cycle, it's still got three quarters of the battery life uh, showing on the uh, battery indicator. So that's that's what I know, that's what I see, that's, uh, yeah, that's what it's doing. And it has been doing it for, oh, give or take, just a boot, uh, I don't know, like eight eight days, I think. Yeah, I've, I've tested about eight days. I took little video, little pictures, uh, like three times 
and then, uh, you know, I've just been using it off camera. And so far, so good. She's rocking and rolling. So uh, that's the battery. Now, the device itself, the little Nito D75, uh, I love this thing. And I'll tell you what, I'm never going to be without one ever again. This thing is such a time saver. It's such a, uh, I don't know. It's cool. It's really cool. Uh, when I bought this three years ago now, and I've had it uh, a solid three years. Uh, actually, yeah, it was a little over. It would have been uh, three years this past Christmas. So I'm a little over three years, going on four years now. Anywho, uh, solid three. The only thing I've ever done to it is uh, the battery. This is the first first failure I've had, the first uh, sign of trouble. And uh, yeah, so, you know, <laughs> rock solid it's been. The uh, side brush does not seem to be working right. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix it, but I'm gonna do that on my other channel, which I'll put a link to up in there. Over, yeah, it'll be up there somewhere. It'll be in the comments, the description, wherever I can shove the, the link to it, I'm gonna shove the link to it. Uh, if you wanna see you know, this, the inside of this thing when I take it apart and do all that stuff, I do my repair stuff on that channel over there. I do my, my, my review stuff on this channel here. So trying to keep things separated and isolated and clean and clear. Anywho, um, the only other trouble I've had it was with the side brush, which I'm gonna get into, but uh, I mean, the machine itself still works fine. Everything else works fine. It's just the side brush. I don't know, it gets it gets halfway through the cleaning cycle and then the side brush starts working. I don't know if it's being commanded on off to 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 do what it's doing. I don't know if it's, I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I won't know nothing until I get it apart. And I still might not know nothing then, but I'm gonna give it the old college try and uh, we're gonna take this guy apart, the very least clean it out, but uh, we're gonna see if we can't uh, get that side brush working all the time. Cause I don't want it to work you know, if this front brush is spinning, that side brush should be spinning. You know, that's it. So I don't know if there's a command issue, you know, or a, uh, a power supply issue, but yeah, that's, we're gonna figure that out on the other channel. Hopefully we're gonna figure it out. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the battery. I mean, this was, this the factory battery here is like 50 bucks to your door. This was 35 to my door. And uh, I mean, it's got a ridiculous name, but you know, take it with a grain of salt. The uh, product itself seems to be well, it seems to be exactly what they claimed it was on the tin. So yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 because it does so far, as far as I can tell, it does what it said it was gonna do. And uh, you know, it, it didn't break the bank. Could it, you know, what would, what would it take to be a 10? More, more capacity for less money, right? I mean, you know, nothing's perfect, but uh, so far this thing's doing, doing everything I want it to do. Uh, the device itself, like I said, I'm never gonna be without, without one again. Uh, the, the current prices on these things, uh, ridiculous if you ask me. I mean, you're, you, you're, you know, to get, to get the equivalent of this now, you're, you're in it for 500 bucks. And then it's got all these connected things. You know, you need a, I don't need a damn smartphone to vacuum my floor, okay? <laughs> that kind of stuff just irritates my ass. I'm not, I'm not, uh, okay, I'm just gonna say no. I, I, <laughs> Just let me push a button. Let the machine do its job and leave me the hell alone with an app. I don't need an app for that, okay? That 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 crap just annoys me to no end. And all the new stuff is, you know, Wi-Fi and uh, an Android capable. What the hell? I mean, seriously, what the freaking hell? Uh, yeah, I got I, I got issues with that. But you're in it for 500 bucks to get anything equivalent to this now which uh, sucks, but uh, you know what? If this thing breaks, when this thing breaks, I'm, I'm just gonna bite my tongue. Oh, clinch those butt cheeks, pull out the wallet and spend it. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna do it because uh, I'm never gonna be without one of these things again. It is awesome, I, I am very happy with it. Uh, the battery, I'm gonna give it an eight so far. And this particular machine, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it an eight as well. Um, like I said, the only failure I've had with it is, well, aside from the side brush, but it does still work. It only works when it starts getting halfway through the cleaning cycle. So it's still working, it's just not working properly. But the only actual failure I've had so far is the battery in three years. And when I bought this, I got it on eBay. It was brand new, uh, 200 bucks, I think. And then I think there was a little shipping. 
tax or shipping I, and whatever. It was like 220 to get it literally to my door. It was either tax or shipping or something like that. And I, oh yeah, I'm all about that. I'll, I'll 250. I'll, I'll, buy, I'll buy this all day long for 250. You know what I mean? I got no issues there. Um, and if I can find another one, believe me, I'll just get another one because uh, it works great. Uh, yeah. So you know what? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Said what I need to say. Hopefully, I showed you what you really care to see. And uh, yeah, I don't want to ramble on here. So I hope you found this, you know, helpful, entertaining, maybe um, a little bit educational, perhaps. And uh, hey, uh, you don't want to see this thing, you know, you taken apart, and we'll get into the side. But if you want to see that, you know, check the links. I'll put them. Like I said, wherever I can put them. All right, that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, thanks for hanging out. And uh, do the, you know, the thumbs and the bells and the whistles and all that jazz. And uh, hey, we're going to see you the next one, right? Cheers.